today I received a box in the post a day earlier than expected um, the box got hammered as you can see during shipping I was going to do an unboxing but when I seen the state of the box I thought I would open it up just to make sure everything was okay um, obviously inside the box we have 6 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator GT 2000 megahertz CAS 7 78720 um, to be exact really nice RAM super high quality extremely hard to get hold of and near impossible to get hold of at the minute there's a waiting list um, I only managed to get hold of these because Trubitar is such a great guy that he agreed to let me have them off him um, if he didn't then basically I could never have got these um, I think they are actually only available from Corsair shop um, I'm not sure whether they, they even ship globally I'm not sure they may do but whatever they're not in stock they came in stock a little while ago and they were gone within minutes um, and as I said there's currently a waiting list for them um, I am having issues with my PC at the minute um, especially with high speed RAM um, could be linked according to people to the DO stepping not liking high VTT um, which is definitely needed to run this sort of memory you need maybe 1.55 even 1.6 possibly um, currently I can't run over 1.45 um, with anything installed in the last memory slot um, so I personally thought it was the memory slot um, but it could be either, it could be the memory slot, it could be the um, or, or yeah, it could be the RAM slot either um, although I've also been told if it was the memory slot then the PC just wouldn't boot so I'm going to install these and see what I can do with them and just like to thank Tribso again for letting me have these oh and before I forget, he sent me a t-shirt Probably guess what sort of t-shirt it is. Coming from True so. Cool Lance t-shirt. So that was a, a bonus. Um, but yeah, I'm going to install these. And see, see how we go, I suppose. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, here's the first problem I'm having. As you can see, all three sticks installed. And they're in the red slots, which is where they're supposed to be. And I'm going to boot up. been considering that I had a bad memory slot for a while but people were saying well if it was bad it wouldn't boot um, now it's got to the point where it won't boot um, I've done lots of testing all my slots are good apart from the one that was causing the issue was the last red slot as you can see now it's not booting um, I'm going to pause the video take it out running dual channel and show you it booting Right, with only two sticks installed, there's no problem at all. Um, in the past, I've been told that basically it wasn't the end RAM slot, it was that the DO stepping doesn't like high um, CPU VTT, which is basically needed to run the high on-core um, frequency that's needed on the basically the high-speed RAM. Um, you see, it's the, the Corsair. G2 2000 at the minute it's running just shy of 2000 it's 7872888 which is a little off um, it should actually be 7872051 um, 
let's see if I can show you the voltages and right there you can see CPU VT 1.62 volts um, before with we um, any memory in the end slot I could only run 1.45 anything above that it would crash um, like instantly um, if I set it at boot above 1.5 it just wouldn't boot um, it seems today the end slot has, has finally given up because now it just won't boot at all um, and even at, at 1066 it doesn't matter what um, speed the RAM set it just won't boot um, so it looks like I'm probably going to have to RMA the board um, but yeah I will um, as well as I'll keep you updated um, run some benchmarks when I get the new board because there's probably no point in running anything why it's just in dual channel um, okay so that's it for now thanks